Alright, welcome. So, uh, Unigen decides to give us a new browser, so let's make a video on this. So the first way to get this is actually you just go on developer.unigen and you either click download Unigen or you click on this uh, forum here and then it gets you to this little line here that's in red so we can go and download it and install it. Let's download the version 2. Once you download it and open it, you get over here into your Unigen SDK browser. Now once you're here, I just put it over here, so I just click it, open here, log in. All right. Once you log in, uh, you'll notice that I already ported most of my stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you alongside with me. So the first thing you're going to do is SDKs. Either you install it by pressing add and install the new to 12.16 which I already did right here and if you already had the old ones and you just want to pour over you can go down here so you click add SDK add already installed go a little down to your um, documents you have the Unigen SDK browser which is your old one and then you can go to SDKs and you would have your SDKs I already deleted and reinstalled it in the new one so you know it stays uh, consistent and you could just put that in or alternatively you could just click download install okay so with our two SDKs we actually have the ability to switch between them 2.15 and 2.16 when you're in 2.15 you have the add-ons button which you could just download straight up and with 2.16 you have the asset store uh, at the moment if you open it you'll have nothing so you have to click on the asset store once you get here you click on whichever one that you get it's all free it's free uh, the ones that are available are free the ones that are unavailable you need to get the engineering or sim edition and yes once you get it uh, purchased then it will come available like these and then you can click install and install it now the other thing they have is in the demos they have the mars sample for community edition which is perfectly amazing uh, the next thing they actually had is when you create new, you have the ability to get a double precision rather than a float precision. So that's a huge uh, change between it. The third change is actually in the global options. Uh, our API, we can change it to Vulkan DirectX 12 or the original DirectX 11. So you could go a little bit more experimental, a lot more... Uh, processes but it's much better uh, yeah go ahead and play around with that stuff uh, now to add an existing it is actually just the same as usual you uh, click add existing click the three dots go to where you have your folders so inside here and then you have your folders of the stuff that you have here I'll add this one called it Hicks and then it's right there so it's just me playing around with the tutorial stuff. And then you can also upgrade it. So over here I have the test world. I can upgrade it to 22.16. Uh, and we can, unfortunately, we cannot upgrade it to a double. But it's okay. We don't really need the double at the moment. So let's just upgrade it and then configure project. We don't need the backup. So I'm just going to upgrade it. And there you go, it's upgraded. Now, when you open it, it's the same workflow, same everything. So, we got our folders and everything, and then the editor is loading up too. Alright, so now we got the world. You can just turn on the sun, and our object is right here right so we have everything exactly where it needs to be you can see that there's some differences especially with the glare and everything we will fix that later on but here you go our project has been ported successfully a little bit of flare fixing that we do that later and everything is exactly how we had it before all right, so since we have this, we can save it, and now you have your old stuff as usual. All right, I will see you guys next time for next episode, but that's the that's the gist of working with 
the new browser and 2.16. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.